Uh, if you think the glow is too bright, let me go ahead and show you guys how to change that. Just click back on your luminance and bring your brightness down to about 200. And I'm going to keep mine at 300. You can even bring it up further, but then it kind of starts to look gaudy. And I'm going to go ahead and change my color because I don't really like this green to be completely honest. I'm going to change it to, uh, no, thank you, um, a, a very bright blue color. And I'm going to change this also to a very bright blue color. And now I'm going to show you guys how to do something really cool. So go ahead and save right now. Okay, file, save. If you haven't saved as, save it to your desktop. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, right click on the text and click make editable. And then you should see a plus sign next to your text if you're following my mouse. Just click on the plus sign, keep clicking it uh, as far as down as it'll go, and you'll see that all the letters are now separated in uh, both words good and point and just keep clicking uh, make sure you've got one letter at a time this allows us to select specific letters so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, delete this blue and I'm gonna drag the blue onto the uh, the word good and the red onto the word point and now as you can see we've got double uh, colored text so you guys can go ahead and do this too. You can also do it for the specific letters. If you want to alternate colors so that uh, the G is blue, the O is red, and feel free to type whatever text you want. And I'm going to go ahead and let this render out a little bit. So it looks like a, a really nice little hot and cold kind of thing. Um, so that's really nice. And uh, it makes a, a really cool looking purple on the background. This is similar to the effect that I had in this video that I showed you guys. And uh, yeah, so that looks really nice. And uh, now we got that rendered. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how to animate. Okay, so what you're going to want to do now is I'm going to go ahead and save again you can also save I recommend saving the same times I do so what you're gonna do follow my mouse uh, click over here up at uh, camera just click camera and then click this box next to camera and then uh, make sure you pause the video if I'm going too fast click that box and head over to cameras scene cameras and make sure cameras checked okay so now let's try swiveling around a little bit Okay, cool. Camera seems to be completely functional. There. So now, we are ready. I'm going to save one more time. <laughs> uh, set your frame rate to however long you want it to be. I'm going to set mine about, let's see, 90. S there's, since, let me go ahead and do some math for you guys. Okay, so output, frame rate is going to be 60. 60 frames per second. So I'm going to put it at 120. Actually, yeah, 120. So that's really strange. But um, <laughs> drag it out. If it looks like that, then just drag it all the way out. So now um, we want we want the text to be right here. So now we're going to start the animations, OK? So to start animating the text, um, we're going to go ahead and select this tool right here. And um, just select this. And first off, I'm going to try a, uh, a little bit of an experimental technique. Uh, I may get this wrong the first time I try because I haven't done this for a very, very long time. And I've actually never used it in one of my intros before. So. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, click this and then what we're going to do is click uh, this little circle right next to color on luminance. Okay, and I'm trying to remember, there we go. Okay, hold down control and click it and then drag all the way to the very front. Hold control and click it again and then drag it to a lighter blue color. Okay, that's too light. Or maybe a darker blue color. 
there. Okay, and you'll see the uh, text should uh, s progressively change to the color that we want. You can also make it go through a gradient, which is what I'm going to attempt to do. I'm going to drag it all the way over to red, have it a uh, strange pink color. Eh, that's cool. It's going to be a pink, and then if you watch it, it should progressively change back to blue. And it changes too slowly for my liking. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is control hit the color again. And I'm going to drag it into the yellow. Make it banana yellow. And drag this into banana yellow also. I'm going to go ahead and click this again, go into color, change it to straight up blue. That way our colors don't get messed up. And I don't really want it to shine white. I guess I can let it shine white for a second. That looks really awesome. So now um, the colors are set to where it's going to uh, fade through a color cycle on good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that on the word point, except with different colors, of course. So we're going to go ahead and double click that, go over to luminance, hold control, select the dot next to color, and click color, select the dot next to color again, and exit. And we set that on keyframe zero, so we're just going to drag this over here. And then we're going to do this again. Hit color. And I'm going to set it at starting at a green. And starting at a green. Okay. So it's going to fade from green to yellow to orange to red. That looks cool enough. I don't really need to do anything with that. Okay, so we've got a really cool uh, color thing so that's awesome already and uh, let's see what it looks like at the very beginning <laughs> oh man that's gonna look really sick um, I still don't really like the font I mean if I was uh, if I was making a really long uh, built out tutorial I would show you guys like like half hour worth of uh, font searching or I would just use one of my own fonts that I've already had before uh, but I'm not really planning on making a video like that. So <laughs> uh, anyway, the, the colors look really nice. I think it looks amazing. And um, we haven't even started animating the text yet. So um, anyway, that's what it's going to look like at the beginning. Not really, because we haven't animated the text out of frame. But now we're going to go ahead and do that. So... That, it looks cool, but now we're going to give it animation. So let's go ahead and save what we got. A lot of tutorials don't talk about that, but it's an important step, I'm telling you. So first off, now we're going to start off with a little bit of a process. So we're going to select the G. Okay. Um, this is very important. Make sure you do this for every letter. So drag it all the way over on the G and select the keyframe at the end. That way, I'm gonna go ahead and do it for every letter already, okay? That way we don't forget. So just keep selecting letters, make sure it's at your last frame, and then keyframe it. That way, all of your text ends up exactly where you want it to be at the end, uh, or else it will get messy. And uh, I have experienced that before, and it is not very pleasurable. I can uh, guarantee that. So now let's go back up to the G and drag it all the way over. Okay, cool. So now I'm going to be just rotating and doing some cool little effects with it. So select your rotation tool. That's where I usually start. And rotate it at a very odd angle. Try to rotate it in as many directions as you can. Okay. And now select this tool. 
drag it up, drag it over, just drag it out of frame, okay? And now, as you guys can see, it's going to come into frame like that. But that's not crazy. Is that crazy? No, it's not crazy. So, <laughs> let's drag it slightly over. Let's skew it as much as we can. That way, we've got some cool stuff happening. It's like flying around, tippity twirling. And now, check this out. That looks sick. Lots of curves, colors changing. Awesome. Okay, so that looks good. We're done with the G. That was awesome. Okay, so now let's drag this over to frame zero. Make sure you don't overlap that because that could be an issue, like I said. Uh, and like that. Okay. Now make sure you've got them all coming in in different places. Don't have every letter coming in from the same exact spot. Usually what I like to do is I like to have one fly out from the front. Like it'll be really close. I think that looks cool enough already. Except the letters do go in to each other. So let me try to do that. Yeah. Drag it out a little bit. Uh, that that's bad. Okay, delete that. Okay, cool. And make sure you guys customize this as much as you want. Uh, we don't want to have a uh, unoriginal intro. Unoriginal intros are not fun. Okay, so taking the other O. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the D come through center. Uh, like I said, I always have one come through center and drag this to the frame zero. Make sure you do that every time. Start off by skewing this one really strange. Okay. Now, since I'm gonna have the D come from center, I can drag this one right where the D would normally come from. So, let's see what it looks like. Okay, that looks really good. Didn't need to skew those two O's much. Okay, so now let's select the D. Just keep doing what we've been doing. Okay, so now this is the letter that we're going to have come through middle. So let's have it at a very odd angle. And I'll show you guys what I mean by having it come through center. Okay, we're going to have it come really close to camera. So this is going to be a little difficult. Okay, it's really close to camera now. Going to have it fly just above camera. Okay, so just like that. It's coming in too uh, far away from the camera. There we go. That looks cool. Comes in right in front of us. Like so. But it doesn't really twirl much after that. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull, uh, pull it over a little bit like that. That looks cool. That looks really cool. Okay, so that's all done. All the the first words done. Okay, so now since we got the first word done, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save again. So now it's saved, and we got all our animation done for the first word. Second word is gonna come out, and it's pretty much just gonna be the same. So let's go ahead and select the P and point. Okay. So let's pull that that way, this way, pull it like that, okay. And we're going to have it come all the way from a really, really strange place. It's going to come all the way from over there. Doesn't look like it twists much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it reangulate. Okay, that's cool. That looks really nice. Does like a little 360. Phew, phew. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the O. O's gonna. I was gonna come 
Let's go ahead and twirl the O first. Not skewing this one too much. This guy does not feel like being messed around with. He's not taking crap for many of the other letters. He's a big old O. <laughs> uh, so let's have him come from top. Um, okay. There we go. Awesome. Okay. So now we're going to go through the I. Sorry if this is a bit tedious for you guys. Uh, especially watching me do it. Um, <laughs> but uh, it's all in a tutorial. If you guys want to just pause the video. Uh, do it yourself so you don't have to listen to me. Uh, talk your ears off. You can have done that or you could have already done that. And what I just realized is a vital issue. We're going to have to undo all of that because I, s I messed up right there or redo that okay so what we're gonna need to make sure we do is that zero I was so uh, <laughs> intent on talking to you guys I didn't realize but anyway yeah, you guys can fast forward if you want I don't, it won't hurt my feelings but um anyway so just keep doing this till you get all your letters Make sure you got them all coming in at really strange angles. That way you get a fun intro. Okay. So now, uh, just keep doing the letters. And one more letter after this N, and we're good. Okay. Dang it, I did that again. Uh, I just want to get this done letters and talking tutorials er okay so let's do the n again twisting it up weird angles pull it up okay cool now let's see what it looks like we're gonna keep that away from the eye I don't want to have it running into letters comes an issue and T we're just gonna have come in we're gonna have that just come in from the side dang it I did that again oh my god this third letter in a row I've done that too man I'm really off my game <laughs> uh, whatever okay cool so we're just gonna have that come in from the side Try not to have any letters hit the floor, too. Okay, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, so now we got like a, a really awesome effect going on here, uh, but we're not done yet, are we? Of course not, we're not done yet. We can always find more stuff to do. So, <laughs> um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna fold all of our text in, just click the minus, and uh, I'm gonna have a camera pan. Uh, camera pan, just gonna direct the camera. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keyframe the uh, last one over to a spot that doesn't look bad. Uh, we're gonna keyframe it, make it a, a cool looking angle. Don't do a really generic intro. Try to make it as interesting as you can. Like that's a pretty cool angle. Let's go ahead keyframe the, the end right there. That looks pretty good. 